Chapter 3. One Eye Open. Every night, the men of his regiment would interrupt his fitful convalescence. Mutilated and maimed, the spectral garrison clawed at his bed covers, whispering hateful truths in his ears. The exhausted attendants in the field hospital would wake to the sound of panicked screaming and inglorious sobs. It was not the war that had taken his eye. It was pride. Retribution! To taunt! To repost. Ah, so you can force it to happen. Which maybe makes it very good for the eyes if the taunt does work. I don't know. But, let's see what it does upgraded. I was but a, pl a child playing commander. Um, there it is. Two blocks as well. It's not bad. Cooldown of one, so you can't just spam it forever. But that's a, a useful ability, and he can use it from the back. By using it at the back, we can now make a backline man at arms do something. That's lovely. So we could dump stand fast and take retribution. That way we still have crush for healing. We probably won't be doing that much on the boss fight, but you never know. But uh, yeah, retribution. I like it. So what he, he could actually defend two units. Once with the guard, well, he can defend everyone with retribution, really. Cool, 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 cool. It's a good unlock. He did it on purpose. I, I don't think he literally took his eye. His pride getting the position as commander is what caused him to lose his eye, not the fact that he was in a war. He, he did it to himself, but not in the literal sense, in the figurative sense. Why not replace retribution with defend? You mean, hey, it's a antiquarian. And she will not be denied. So um, retribution has a cooldown. So we can't use it every turn. Defend can be used every turn. So in th and uh, upgraded, it gives bit better block tokens. So in between retribution, we could just use defend to gain block. And against the final fight, we'll probably swap out bellow for stand fast so that we get blocks every turn as well. So we'll have a combination of retribution, constant blocks, blocks, and then he's just going to tank everything every turn. Because that's all he does. And then bolster for stress, maybe crush for a heal on occasion. So that's probably what he's going to do. Now, she's being guarded. She's a very annoying unit, but in theory, we can still do pretty well here. Oh my god, our light is so low. Tossing in some, uh, some poison darts. These are all uh, annoying elite enemies. The resist is pretty high. Blind? The leper can unblind her in theory, as long as he gets a strength token. So he's been comboed, but he resisted the bleed. Protected? Oh, we, we should have definitely hit her. That's a mistake. Um, well, let's use that smoke bomb. It'll purge one of the guard tokens, and then... Let's remove the other block token and make this guy comboed. Operation is the key. I like it. Um, so Retribution does not give us block. I want to give block tokens, but I don't want to get rid of the combo because otherwise we're just going to get stressed out. We learned that previously. We're not stressed out. I think we want to debuff their speed. Their debuff resists are high-ish, but even if we hit a couple of them, we hit one. <laughs> it's literally not a couple, but Measure I'll take it, I guess. Violence, and, and we did get strength, so we're gonna purge your blindness, and you are gonna kill this unit. I, I guess we didn't have to get the strength token, but we're still gonna kill this unit. I mean, come on, we crit for 44. 
Keep the light up. Light resist is pretty high. It might actually be worth more going for the unit kills. Because they are easier to kill. Oh, pushes him all the way up to the front. Stress does not matter because we we can uh, self stress heal. Invigorating vapors, dodge token, strength token, dodge token. Be a good opportunity for a bellow. This purges both dodge tokens. If it hits, it purges the block token. It'll purge one of the guard tokens. Alternatively, we could use one of these, but. Um, I think this is totally fine. Didn't quite do what I wanted to do, but you know what we can do. Break. And if I hit you for four, you're dead. So, we're killing her last, but... She's really not that strong, is she? She's just buffing them, which doesn't really matter too much for us. Ignores dodge when stealthed. I've never had to deal with that. One day I will have to. <laughs> but that day is not today. All right, you have a block token. But you're being guarded. That means a demon's pull. Probably what we want here. Purge the corpse. Um, we're not gonna kill him. So I kind of like the combo so that the uh, Mad at Arms can definitely hit. Could try another Bellow. Could try to defend the back line, but they're doing fine. We don't need a bolster. Guess we'll um. Purge your block tokens, because we got to do that eventually, anyways. It's another bleed. We don't need to remove the corpse, so. You're finally out of dodges. Now we can really start smacking. Flash powder. Oh no, you're gonna blind me. Well, you dazed me, but that's still not very good. Hopeful. Cooperation is the key. I die a little bit inside every time we get the lowest value chop. You gave yourself one dodge token. Empowered. Not what I would have done. Keep your stress down. Uh, I have nothing that can heal you, so we might as well remove your dodge and then we'll go for a kill. And goodbye. Excellent work. Oh, you have a death door. Well, imagine that. 25% resist. Wow, Another she vaporized. Cleared with what the hell? We are the flame, burning bright. We vaporized her with poison. Yo! Celebrated chalice. If relics in inventory, if bobbles in inventory, plus crit, plus speed. Hmm. Stay over 50 money in both respects. We get a lot of stats. We're currently over 50 money. Oh my god, our inventory is so full of garbage. Stale bread. Don't need it. Because we got the soup. Bouncer belt trinket. Weirdo swords. I'm never going to equip the weirdo swords. Or the bulwark band. A small chance of applying debuffs or getting a buff whenever you act. It's like, whatever. Minor protector, minor trinkets we can get rid of too. Minor bouncer's belt, we can dump that. It's 
10% crit. You can probably lower your uh, stun resist to equip plus 4 speed plus 10% crit. That's pretty good. You don't do as many physical attacks, so your crit doesn't quite matter as much. And your speed is already 6, so... We want... Why is your speed 0? Oh, it's just low. Uh, we want you to have 2 speed. So, yeah, we'll um, give it to you. Does the Grave Robber have speed synergies? No, nothing really with her um, quirks. Stone Mount will, in theory, maybe give her occasional stress if she misses. I don't really care. Like, we'll we'll manage the stress, but um, I like this giving her the two big block tokens every combat because of hard skinned qu uh, quirk. If anyone else had hard skinned, I would I would consider swapping it around so someone else got the super blocks. But she can have these; it's fine. And again, we could put this on the leper, but I think the leper's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna dump that garbage because I'm never gonna dump this. Uh, you could use something. Why don't we give you plus damage and speed. You can equip a smoke bomb. Everyone else is set. All right, that freed up our inventory nicely. The plus speed trinket. I, I'm not a big fan of the plus speed trinkets, even though I know I just equipped one, but it also has crit up. Um, but the plus speed trinkets, it's like... The leper is going to move eventually, anyways. He doesn't need a trinket slot for that. It's worth more giving him something else that makes him tankier or hit harder or hit more frequently. You know, e.g., convert blind into strength. More anti-blind is good. Fire resist. Apples and cheese. This is a good alternative to the soup at the end. Each hero on combat start, 33% chance of a block token. Probably not gonna equip it. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. I know. Had to immobilize, lower speed. I'm gonna dump the one fisherman net. Oh god, everything is shuffled. I'm gonna dump this, I think. because I don't do bleed. I really hope the boss does not bleed, because I have to equip this. Unless we kill another layer boss, which I'd rather not do. Um, yeah, let's, let's dump the knife. We, we don't have bleed. We have bleed on literally nobody. And we will not have bleed on anybody. I want to free up more inventory as well. Lothanum, what is this? Light resist, we want to keep that for later. You know, we can um, whip, uh, whip crow's feet. Is that good enough? Yeah. You know, <sighs> in the Fetor, the, the baby boss does movement resist resist the hunger effect because if the leper and the man at arms both have high movement resist maybe we could do something with that I might look it up after we reach the inn and also get more coffee and pee uh, for now though I want to dump something else dump the uh, dump the bouncer's belt Again, we have better trinkets at this point. We don't need the garbage ones. Well, I think they're garbage anyways. All right. Um, resistance encounter, resistance encounter. Hazard, unknown route. So I guess we'll go left, because it gives us a candle and more benefit. Da, 
dungeon. Oh no, god. It's okay, we will purge it um, at the, the resistance encounter. We got more food. We got a lot of that food. That good old stew. Well, no one's gonna like this, but we are gonna fight. We can probably take another boss. If we have good trinkets and it's a good boss, I'll consider it, but I've I've never managed like if it's the librarian, the leper is gonna be terrible. Although maybe we can equip Purge and knock the books back constantly. Um, our light's getting low. We might lose out on uh, our, our region bonus. Uh, but I, um, I've never managed to defeat Baby Boss without someone dying. I don't know how to really handle it. We have a lot of movement resist. So maybe this is the opportunity, as long as the movement resist counters hunger, we can keep everyone in the front and we can give the man-at-arms, like, um, uh, a hold the line. If, if he can never hunger, he can do hold the line literally every turn and we'll be fine. But I don't know if that's how it works. Can't defeat that baby boss. Baby boss, baby boss, baby boss, baby boss, baby boss. Going to use a powerful skill. Well, let's work you down then. Man, her crit is amazing, and she has 10% more crit now too, so she is fantastic. I think we want to pull him forward. Movement resist 210, never mind. He's dead in two turns anyways. Is no time to falter. That's fine. Buff speed. Whoa! That did like 40 damage! And then he immediately died. I don't know why he immediately died, but that did do like 40 damage. Hit everyone. So I'm gonna taunt up. Cooperation is the key. your stress down. Um, lowering speed isn't going to help too much. I think what we want to do is uh, guard. I know I used both abilities, but there's a reason for it. He was blinded. That's kind of the reason for it. I still need um, light piercing on the grave robber. I hope we can find some. That's two to five and a mark. This means that we can get a heal with our man at arms. So that's what we're gonna do. Now it's a bolster. We have strength. For 20, pretty good. Variable. Crush Easily is going resolved. to be upgraded next. That's a that's going to be a good one. I just haven't done it yet. Okay. Well, you know what? This seems like a good opportunity for a vulnerability. I think, since the leper is going to have an opportunity to move in a second. Might as well purge your vulnerability. took very little damage from that, and you are on death's door. We do hit hard. Sin. Occultist has a hard time hitting him, so I'm just gonna go for the hit. Persistence will overcome We're a little lower on health than I would have liked, but that's fine. Amidst the spoils, an Lost 20% damage. Hmm. Tempting. 
the loathing besters. I mean, the leper does pretty much hit all the time. We could get rid of the sodden sweater, but I really like it on him. I like that, and I like the goading gargoyle. You don't need damage. Your, your damage is kind of terrible. Because that's the path that you have. Your damage doesn't matter too much because it's mostly blight. Your damage doesn't really matter too much because you do a lot of debuffs. I, I don't know who to give this to. I need to save one food item, I'm realizing. Oh, we have apples, we don't need uh, bread. We don't need the wind chime. Seems okay. Increases loathing? Doesn't this reduce loathing? I thought the final encounter reduced loathing. I guess not. More bread. Stop giving me bread, game. I don't want your bread. At least we're not going to be at max loathing, but... Starting in the next biome, the loathing is going to make it a little hard to, uh... Well, like, I don't want the boss to get stronger, basically. We don't need this much soup. What we do need is the freaking pig. Pig's great. See, I don't think we want to fight the librarian. I guess we probably could. We probably do enough damage, even without the leper. He can just purge the books behind him. I, I, I don't know if that wastes his turn during the fight. Hope so. I forgot to check if this ruined our um, ability, anyways. All right. Pocket light. I don't have any pocket light. I think I'm completely out of pocket light. I'd already used it. I used it earlier. We just hit up a lot of encounters that reduced our light, and we did. We didn't get any encounters that increased our light. Is the more accurate way of phrasing that. He's gonna guard. Pocket sand. I'm incredibly surprised, by the way, that the man at arms with three and the leper with four moved before the occultist with six, but I have to remember we did drop that trinket from him. The trinket that, you know, did fantastically. Move resist? Oh, come on. They're immobilized, they're stressed. Could just do a bolster. Fire and bleed, it's not, not terrible. We have four actions before they get one. Ah, but you're taunted, you dick, I hate your taunt. Well. 10 regen for two turns. 10 regen, huh? Tell you what. I know you're gonna, you're probably gonna heal that at some point, but we'll try it like this. Your move resist is 10%. We gotta go for it again. Thank you. Kill that bugger. Melee skills minus 50% damage taken for one battle. He might be a little annoying to kill. Um, I like the bolster here. It's one big block token. And then minus four stress. First trumpet. So that is another bleed and burn. Hit for three, which doesn't really matter too much. Raise the stress. We have a lot of them. We'll probably chuck it. And you are still healing. Here, here's the problem. If the Herald acts, the Herald will heal the Deacon and he's gonna purge the, the Blight. So hitting the Deacon doesn't really do much right now. I think we're better off just starting to work this guy down so we can kill him within two turns. 
we miss the blind anyways, but like, we're not gonna kill him here. All of our damage is gonna be negated, but now he's not regening anymore. I, um, I think he has to have two tokens in order to use worship. I, I, I'm not entirely certain. Because I, I think it's two, because he had two tokens. But like the, uh, the taproot tentacles, you know, they require three. This guy requires two. You're no longer guarding. Well, let's guard. Big bleed, but not terrible. Purge might be kind of nice here just to move this guy to the back, but we're just a little lackluster with our uh, ranged damage right now. There we go. A wash in turmoil. Purges your buffs. You had no buffs. If I hit you for three, you're dead. I hit you for four, you're dead. So we can hit them both. Now, if this thing gets an action, he'll heal automatically. I, I don't know if the auto action happens before or after the blight, but I still want to kill him if I can. I think we'll, um, it's gonna lot on him, the stress, and then I'm gonna hit him. Okay, good. Problems have their solutions. I don't know if this guy even has anything he can do now, but uh, I'm just gonna kill you anyways. Well, no, I'm gonna eat a corpse. Cooperation is the key. A little unnecessary, but I'll take it. There's 27 damage. All right. I think the exemplar is coming up on the next region, though. Plus 75% health, minus 50% damage. I love this on the Grave Robber. She doesn't do physical damage. I also love this on the Man-at-Arms. If we can keep his stress down, his damage doesn't matter. We can, we can ignore Repost in theory and just have him have infinity HP, which feels good for the final fight. I gotta admit, I dare say we're getting the hang of this. Chop. We have a lot of... Uh, Smoke bombs here. Well, not a lot. We have a couple. Heart Seeker. 5% crit. We'll dump it. Unwavering Standard. We'll dump it. He's got a lot of good trinkets. Let's dump the medicinal herbs too. I doubt I'm ever going to use those. So yeah, it reduced loathing and then increased loathing, I think, so. The loathing is still at two. They broke the mold with you. Somebody else watch for ambush. They even said fur. Watch for the ambush. Stop giving me soup. Sorry, stew. Minus stress, calming incense. We could use that. So here's a question. Can I go to the sluice? Sluice. The sluice. I hope we so. Would come here in summers of in the light storm, incomplete. To write, think, works, and rest. All negative. Squeamish. Thanatophobia. Anemic. Well, we have things to do. Consider nope. your position. No sluice. And plan but we can fight whatever boss we want. If we want to. We could we can still just roll our current uh trophy. Hazardous roots, lower flame drain. 
I think the feet tour is where I want to go. We got things to do. We got things to do. Let's do the pig. What's uh, everyone's relationships? If relationships are high, we want to open with something that might reduce relationships. That is not the case. Let's also not forget Each to equip this. Variable in the equation of your fate. Check out what we have. Trinkets are cheap. I can get the, the Greater Gilded Mind, 15% Death's Door Resist. It either works or it doesn't. There's only two trinkets here, so like, this is what I mean by this. Oh, okay, 50% cheaper trinket prices. There's two. Freaking hate it. <sighs> Ceremonial drum. I think we, if, if movement resist stops hunger, I think we can do the drum. And then do the, the, the mama fight. I think our leper is going to be a little, um, less useful, but should still be okay. There's another pig. Which is just, I mean, you just buy it. You buy the pigs whenever you see a pig. And you say, everyone party. Bon vivant. Oh, you know what? That gives more uh, positive relationships, I think. Oh! Can be used in addition to normal food. Share my portion between the others instead. They, they only want one pig. That's okay, we have a bonus pig for future. Turn, uh, turns. Stop. Thank you. Everyone was like, pig? I don't want it. <laughs> okay. Your speed is two. I don't want you to have more speed. You get apples and cheese. Everyone else gets soup. The stew's been very good. And you know what? We don't need more stew. Listen. So we can Practice. remove this, Improve. and let's put on Loathing Resistance, unless there's something else that we want. The plating is patched. The coach stands ready once more. Trinkets, candle stacking, location scouting. Eh, not particularly. The hunger ignores movement resist, says Connie. So uh, when you have the hunger, you will move. But does the is the application of the debuff hunger blocked by movement resist or debuff resist or nothing? That's kind of what I'm curious about. I should probably look it up because it's a puzzle boss. You know, you gotta you gotta know what the mechanics are in order to actually solve it. I'm not I'm not looking for spoilers. I'm just looking for information regarding what blocks what really, because sometimes it varies. All right, I've returned to continue on with managing our party at the inn. I've got an idea. I don't want the general's dream for the third act boss, but if we go to the Fetor the farms and, fields and we equip a mobilization, with now no rock. one can move due to hunger. We are locked into position on the fight now. And I don't think it's uh, someone in the chat said it's debuff resist blocks the hunger. So now who has the most debuff resist? They should be in the front. And if they're in the front, they will hopefully resist the hunger. I have a trinket that also increases debuff resistances. So if we um, we look, yeah. 20% debuff resist on this trinket. We can have this in on the front line so that the front line doesn't hunger. You have 30, you have 25, you have 53. My lord. Yeah, so we're going to give the leper the debuff resist. He should have like nearly 100% chance. Yo, we could give him a 100% chance with reflection. And then no one in the fight will ever hunger. And the hunger is the real big problem with the fight. If no one hungers, we can just smack the uh, the boss until they're dead. So 
So I think that we can 100, this might be the prime, oh God, the prime opportunity to go and fight this Fetor boss, kill it, and then maybe get an achievement, I don't know, but um, I think we can totally do it. This is the order we want. I'll have to try to remember to equip the right stuff for it. Um, He's gonna have very, he's gonna have zero bleed resist on the fight. I, I do believe this boss bleeds. It's got like Maws of Life or something. Probably Blights as well. I mean, it is pustule meat or whatever the hell it is. Um, so let's uh, take a look at our items and equipment for now. Steak and spuds. What would we like? It probably can burn. So incendiary cocktail might be nice to grab, but we don't produce those. In fact, we have not been producing too many explosive items, unfortunately. None in, in the last area. That's uh, that's okay. Can we increase debuff resistance through something else? The answer seems to be no. That's okay. Um, fifteen for the Greater Gilded Mine, I think, is a no-brainer. Tony says, you can get my favorite trophy from the baby. Oh, God. I think we will take the skull. I wouldn't mind getting rid of anemic. The bleed resist could be uh, annoying. Squeamish, I don't know what it does. But let's purge the bleed penalty. We can only buy one of those. What's our relationship set like? Wow, two whiskey. Gives us better relationships. We should definitely buy two whiskey. Wait, did I not pick up whiskey? No, I picked up stress relief. Well, that's fine. Death's door resist we might want to hold on to for the final boss fight. We're going to get a little bit full on inventory, but I think that's okay. Uh, probably don't need burn resist, but I'd rather get rid of the ablative powders than the in item. We want to stack those. We can get rid of the stew item. We we do not need more stew. And we're, we're not going to need movement resist in theory, so we don't need that. I will buy the whiskey, though. We want to put this on... Leper, Occultist, Leper, Grave Robber. Leper, Occultist. Wait for it. Leper. Grave Robber, we hit that 14 magical number here. Please let me open the menu. Good chance of positive quirks. Might be able to get more? You're squeamish. You're zoophobic. Is there anything else that we can buy that increases relationships? Pipeweed, minus one speed. Kind of would rather not have speed penalties, but in order to pump the relationship up by one more point, I think it's actually probably worth it. So we'll take one. Pipe. A bit of comfort on the road to yeah, damnation. comfort. We hit seventeen, which is another magic number. Um, plus zero speed in. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. Just remember to swap these out. Or actually, we'll get a new trinket. But Are we not buying anything else? Like, is this it? No, we want to buy this. It just says Exemplar is slain. That happened fast. Start movement resist, mop and bucket. Lead resist. We should buy this to stop bleed. Because of that, the Maws of Life attack. Which, uh, you know, I've seen before. Oh, you can't equip this. Blocked by Squeamish. Can I uh, purge Squeamish? No. That's okay, we'll put this... Oh, no, you are also squeamish. 
You know what? what? Why don't we hold this then? No, that's stupid. Get rid of it. Should have uh, should have paid more attention before I bought it. What are we gonna bring into the boss fight? Anti oil is great. A little bit of bleed. I imagine this boss could probably bleed. They're almost certainly blight resistant, unfortunately, and I have no blight gear for the grave robber. But crow's feet will be fine. Plus speed and damage, fine. One laudanum we can replace with uh... We're not gonna need burn resist, we can dump that. We can use smoke bombs, that, that would be totally fine. And we can bring healing items. Are there more healing items to buy? No. There's bleed resist, but I think we'll be fine there. Yeah, yum, 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 yum. Maybe uh, take a cocktail. Cocktail and pocket light. I think that's pretty good. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Round start, 5% crit. I mean, on the off chance it works, we have to give it to the, to the leper. I mean, come on. All right, it's upgrade time. Crush is a better heal. I think that is worth upgrading. Did you have an exemplar as the last Act 2 cultist encounter? No, uh, I think they removed it if it, it existed there. I think you get one here in Act 3, but I don't know. Heal 50% from Dead of Night, very good. Absinthe is also very nice, but we don't need to upgrade it right now. Let's give you, um, let's give you the better heal. It's also an extra turn of stealth. Abyssal, all, Abyssal Artillery. You're not super necessary. Giving you more debuff resist for the fight, I think can matter. So let's upgrade Reflection. Your damage is so low. <laughs> Solemnity is uh, is useful, as is withstand. Better resists and better block tokens, which is nice. And then I want to upgrade the Man at Arms. Defender, if we use it, the extra block token value is nice, but Retribution is also two block tokens, so. We gotta think about that. Standfast is also block tokens every turn for multiple turns, which is beautiful. Why don't we give you Defender for now? Okay. I think that's acceptable. Are we done spending money? We have a lot of cash. Nothing really to spend it on right now. Probably buy more Laudanum, because we can, we can hold it. Yeah, in fact, let's buy one more. There you go. You have... Milk linen, you have some bleed, you have some stimulants. We can purge this stuff later by just, you know, using it here. Plus 20% damage trinket. I really don't want to uh, remove that, or uh, rather I don't want to put that on the leper because this trinket in theory gives him damage and removes the blindness. And we're gonna be giving him debuff resist and this is also just good anyways. So I think we're good. We don't have a lot of inventory capacity right now. That's fine. I give this to you. Huge death store resist is also really good for you. <laughs> um I think we're I think we're good. I think we're ready to go to the Fetor. Hey man wild, welcome. How's the runs going so far? So good. 
final region of Act 3 is where we're at right now. No bounty hunter. All right. I think let's do it. You know what? Let's um get rid of this. Get out of my inventory. I don't want it. Creature den and oasis scouting, explosives, loathing Your resistance, inventory slots. Serve you well. Vitor! Kani says, I hope you win so you can enjoy the much better last bosses. We're getting very few relationship quirks. I, uh, Kani, you have not played Act 3 or 4 or 5, but I think you've seen, you've watched videos of those ones, right? I think you just completed Act 2 recently. You gotta catch up, man. <laughs> Aspiration unites the hopeful. Weakening Curse is lower stress. Purge is lower stress. We are probably not going to be using Purge. Although it would be nice to clear corpses because these enemies do eat corpses. And we don't have to hit, so if we're blind, we can just toss out a Purge. Um... Rancid crop grows unchecked. Do they and abhorrent. do they block a lot? Because we could get rid of break and just take purge. That way we can clear corpses. Um, what do we got? Oasis Lair up here on the left. With the creature den immediately afterwards. We might just want to go right up the middle but uh, the resistance encounter is also tempting. Baseless facsimile. Hold on. Is that the one that gives you a trinket that heals you? No, that's the, that's the like, the goo in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is the, the beating heart trinket. Is there another uh, academic study up here I can look at? I can mouse over? I don't think there is. Let's not worry about it. Whenever I take that trinket, it always kills someone anyways. Although it was very good on that one Hellion run. I think we'll go left. Try out these. I don't think we need to go to the Oasis. I want the combat more than the Watchtower, at least initially. And he says, early lol. Early what? Lol. Oh, the early watchtower? Except, if I'm gonna go to the lair, I don't really need the watchtower that much, do I? The slow suffering begins. We gotta move... No, the leopard does want to be at the front. Why are you stressed? Oh, uh, 10% chance of being horrified. It's a horror, horror of 50%. Okay. Let's go for you. We're stealthed. Why are we stealthed? I mean, I oh, because you have a perk that makes you stealth as well. One damage, no burn. Now, do we want to pull? If we pull, he will... Probably do blister shot, and then we can hit him with the crush, which will probably give us a heal. Flash fire, a little burn, and a blind, which is very annoying, but we're just going to power through it. We should have used laudanum. That was stupid. <laughs> we'll do it next turn, if I remember. Crit for three. Hey, it's your turn again. Advantage. We got an extra turn! What gain when hit if speed is less than or equal to two extra action 20%. Hey, he healed anyways! <laughs> it worked! It worked! By the way. 
Die. On to die. The next. Die. Die. On to the next. Well, let's uh light you up, Buttercup Baby. Well done. <gasps> they're they're wasting the whiskey. What are you doing? I need that. I need that for my relationships. Eight burn. They do inflict a lot of burn, don't they? Chop. 50. You know what? We got plenty of milk. <laughs> Let's use some milk. Kind of like the idea of another heal. So we'll weaken this guy. Well, we have to land the heal. Hey, we did. Crit heal for 17. I didn't realize that could crit, but it does make sense. Measure out your violence. He's taking 11 damage per turn. We got an extra turn! <laughs> Let's go. Um, and you know what? When we get an extra turn, we don't bleed again. That's interesting. Yeah, because that would kind of suck, wouldn't it? If you got an extra turn and as a result you died. I would hate that. Go ahead, stack up the burn so he can heal himself. I think he's in range. Yep. Whiskey doesn't build healthy relationships. I don't need the relationship to be healthy, I just need it to be temporarily good. Yeah, this is working very well. Pleasant in the the solemnity animation is cool. This work is noble. I just like that it heals. <laughs> it's petals, right? Like rose petals. Kind of reminds me of uh... oh, what is what is what is the card? Ultimate finale, <laughs> the silent card. Oh, always a pain in the ass to get that to work. This is going to be a hospital. We have money. If we want to, we can remove some of the more negative quarks. Is this loathing? No. But there's combat coming up, which will reduce loathing regardless. Oh, and we uh, heal automatically at a hospital too, right? I've got that, that perk, that upgrade. Increases stacking, makes them produce more, whatever. Light resist, unnecessary. Stun resist, is the boss stun? No negatives, terrified, squeamish. Oh Lord. It's expensive, if this is locking in a quirk, it's not, it's removing. How do you lock in quirks? If HP is low, lower debuff resist. HP is low, days. It locks it in. That's not what the symbol means. It's the same symbol. This removes a quirk. Why would this lock it in? Is it because the arrow goes in a different direction? That doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna remove a couple from you. Even the worst habits can be overcome. Once we get a little bit of money, you know what, we'll um, probably pull the uh, trinket from our our friend. I don't want to buy anything else. I think we're fine. It does lock it in. Look, I believe you. I just think it's bad UI design, which is uh, kind of, I hate to say it, par for the course in Darkest Dungeon 2, isn't it? Okay, we have two laudanum. Refresh your milk bandage. You. If relics plus four speed. Your speed does not matter, you're fine. There's a lot of cool things about the UI in Darkest Dungeon, but some of the information is just not presented very well. It's okay.
What's our flame? 88, and yeah, we're fine. All right, let's, uh, how does getting quirks persist, persist between runs work? So if you, uh, if you win, if you win a run, you can spend your candles giving people memories you are finding your courage at, last. at the altar of hope at the very beginning of the game. So look into that. Okay. Skulking step. That's not a. What can we learn upon closer inspection? That's not a stealth. I really thought it was a stealth. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I love sky spaghetti. Stun. A little annoying. So how about I crit you for 32 and kill you? A promising development. A promising development. They're effing dead. Wow, we can't get hit at all. Does giving people memories lock in the quirks in perpetuity? Well, unless you change them. Like, does is it locking them in or just keeping the character the same run after run? I don't know. I haven't done it, so you know. Your mileage may vary, I guess. No reason to bolster. I've got two actions. Yo, if I've got two actions, crush, crush. We get so many free actions on this dude. He's incredible. And anytime he gets a free action, we, we can just make him taunt again or block again or whatever. He's incredible. He's huge. He's huge. Now, if we stack up debuff resist on the leper, we don't need to give him the blind token thing anymore. We can probably give him something else. Oh, nice. You have reverberating redoubt, says Connie. Good trinket. Seems like it. What is your, uh... Oh, let's wait. What is your, um... Debuff resist is like 50% right now. We should really just make you have an 80% debuff resist. You can keep the blind things and then just purge them. We won't be getting the extra damage out of the trinket, unfortunately, but still, you know, blocking debuffs still blocks debuffs, and debuffs are bad. Who's, who's got the, the dang trinket? You do. So I can give you a 73% chance of resisting it, and then if you don't resist it, then we can give you uh, a milk crack. And then misstep is probably gonna be given to the man-at-arms, Gonna give him. Hmm. We have to equip two trinkets for it. Could give him 90 HP though. If we really wanted to, we could give him 90. You know what? You don't need move resistance, but the stun resistance is nice. Um. Stress resistance. I mean, it doesn't matter. Let's uh, let's move on. We're going into a combat. Things to think about. Things to think about. Sure. You do have that 20% damage trinket. <sighs> I still like the idea of him having on bleed resist heal. But yeah, we could we could give him the plus 20% damage and then he just does more damage and then we don't have to worry about token conversion. We could give this to you. Yeah, that does seem pretty good. So it would be dump, dump, 20% damage, dump. Debuff resist. So 73% debuff resist chance. 
We can increase it with reflection to 93%, so very, very good. You are going to block everything and then do reflected damage with the trinket. And you have stun resist. Giving you a personal heal is nice. You don't need the movement resistance, though. It feels like a waste, doesn't it? It kind of feels like a waste to give it to you. You could just take this for death's door resistance, I suppose. 90%! And stress resistance does seem pretty good. Yeah. So you're just hopefully never going to become blinded, but if you do, we have a solution for it. Now, I, I know that the move resist doesn't do anything right now because I have a mobilization. That's kind of not the point. The point is for the future. Um. Yeah, let's, let's just go fight these guys. <laughs> leave, leave. Don't leave. We're attacking. Who knew wearing a wet sweatshirt could be so good for your resistances? Only to bleeding, though. Hey, we are blinded. I assume that the early blind token can be resisted from combat start. But if it doesn't, you know, that's what the milk rag is for. You did resist your um, vulnerability. Oh, no, you got vulnerable and then it just remo removed your block token. So the dinner cart is a very annoying enemy. Let us take a closer look at the thing. Lots of as repulsive as it is. Diseases, unfortunately. Still think you probably want to kill these things. What what is their buff? Analysis is the natural Health damage, action. better chances and better duration. It's like always the same. The ordainments. I think we're going to get a combo on you. Maybe we can just hit you with the blindness. Blight resist is 75. This is not a good biome for uh, for her. Tell you what, though. Why don't you get damage and speed? Excellent work. Good crit, though. Not a not a ton of damage, but that's okay. Taunted and blinded. Advantage. Probably open up with a bellow then. Debuff resist is very low. Ideally, the leper gets two attacks. Hey, he's blinded again. Aw, oh, crap. That's not working. <laughs> but he does have a guaranteed crit, so we do want him to attack. You are going to get an action. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Three to six. No death door resists. Make sure you go. Move resist of 30%. Kind of want to pull you to the front, but I really want the leper to kill this thing. I mean, with the guaranteed crit, we don't really need vulnerability, do we? A pull means he can crit this guy and do 40, but he's going to live. And then probably eat one of the corpses. Demon's pull will clear the corpse, and apply a mark. You know what? I like that. Mother's Embrace. You just did a little bit of stress damage. By the way, here's 34. He added blind again. He, can you resist your own blind, my dude? <laughs> Maybe we should swap back to the other trinkets or something. Give, give him a big block. It's gonna hit him both anyways. Ah, the putrid meat in the front. Well, I mean, you know what? Let's just remove it.
you really haven't resisted it once, right? I don't know, is that like, is that bad luck or good luck? Hey, I think he resisted it now. Took you long enough. Your attacks are worse. Marking you is probably better. We'll get a heal with the man at arms. Just low rolls. Must be. Ooh, his next attack is a crit though. So. I like that. Be our guest, be our guest, something, something to the test. Fortunately, now there's a solutions. huge corpse, but we crit, so... Oh my god, what? Oh, because we do more damage against corpses, we do 85! On a gosh darn crit. If only there was an enemy that was classified as a corpse, you know? Probably just tossed it a heal on that one. This works totally fine for me. Should have probably used our combat item just to dump it. Really wanted that corpse dead. The loathing whispers. Loathing. Uh... Team is OP. No, we have a bit of a hard time hitting the back line, so it's a little, a little wibbly wobbly at times. It's not overpowered. Yeah, don't jinx it either. You stinking man at arms. Um. There was something I was gonna look at. Oh, right, this. 75 max HP. I might end up rolling this on the Grave Robber for more raw health. The Occultist, in theory, shouldn't have a, a good chance of dying ever. So, I could give him more health, but I like the fact that he's got that crit heal. Let's use our items. This is another combat, which I like. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now that's what we were gonna do. Equip the pocket light. There you go. Hey, we finally have someone who likes attacking. I thought it would never happen. I thought corpses weren't supposed to spawn on a crit. Yeah, not in Darkest Dungeon 2. It's different. I'm gonna speed you up again, actually. Okay, you got your block tokens. In crisis, we will overcome we our demons. Only upon each other. Debuff resist. Hey, that's a positive. I suppose we should just keep the vulnerability out there then. They're very good at purging tokens, it seems like. Also, Mother's Embrace. Oh, it did two damage because of our trinket. That's what it was. Empowered, you are taunted. Emboldened. Not great. Seems like a good opportunity to, uh, you know, no, we should bellow first, but it does seem like a good opportunity to uh, guard. Because I don't think they can hit the back is the thing. Dun dun. Spring snows must thaw. That's a hit for 
46 on a non-crit. Goodness gracious. That's a lot of damage. There's a crit for 14. The work do continues. I have purge? Oh my god, I do. Get these corpses out of here. I don't want to see them ever again. Vulnerable and taunted. Oh, good. Just, uh... I know it's overkill, but I'm going to do it anyways. I guess you do just spawn a corpse. <gasps> Guys. Vulnerable crit. 55. Excellent work. <laughs> That's so good. My lord. Assistance will overcome even the greatest of <laughs> If we can stack up crits on him, it would be absurd. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test. Occultist trinket. You. Turn end. Convert vulnerability to power. Demon's pull adds a negative token to the enemy. But when you're moved, you have a ne negative token added. I mean, this seems perfect. We don't really use those tokens all that much, but at least it does have a better heal. The sick looking trinket. It is very sick looking. I, I really like his current selection though, but we can we can we can take this off and make his vulnerability give him power. And then we have a stun. That's never going to work. A stun. It's never going to work. But a better heal. Guaranteed crit heal. Heal, 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 heal. Yeah, he gets vulnerability 33% of the time. So, that's not... Not horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might get rid of Stone Mount at this point. I might get rid of Celebrated Chalice, but the crit is lovely. Um, for now, we're going to a lair, but there is going to be a midway point. Let's see what that midway is. No loathing. Trust you have calculated your wheels carefully. This wheels is fine. Not be easy. This will not be easy. I thought you said they could be slain, they could be defeated. Okay. This is very important to get right. You have speed and crit and good block tokens. Seems good. You resist bleed, and you're in the front. You have good debuff resists and good damage. I mean, I think, I, I think we have what we want, right? Apologize, you're right, this is OP. <laughs> It's looking good. It's looking good. Let's give you incendiary cocktail. Let's give you the... Uh, light resist. No, I want to save that for the exemplar. Give me the smoke bomb. You can take the heal. You don't need this. We're going to give you reflection. Why don't you take the other heal then? Dun, dun, dun. Is this the right party order? Yes. Do we have the right abilities? That one doesn't matter. Crush. It's a heal. 
Defender is block. Bolster is stress. Bellow is speed. Retribution is repost. We don't really need you to rep retribution, but it will activate this. We'll probably give you steadfast then over bellow. I don't think the enemy can repost. Repartee, don't need. Pick, don't need. Finding shadows and sacrificial stab, don't. All right. The Harvest House. The House of the Harvest. Oh, my back hurts. I've been sitting down too long. Oh, Quirk, welcome. <laughs> welcome back, I assume. Thank you for the gift sub to Phage. Impervious enemies, stun resist. That's why I don't believe in stun as a build. Never works. Made and livestock. They get eaten. What do you do? Analysis Larval slop, tend the, the flock. Well, action. let's work on you. She's gonna be terrible. <laughs> I really thought that we would get something that bypasses, um... the uh, Blight Resist by now, but we just haven't gotten anything. Can't move. Oh no, we move at the end of the turn. I guess we'll work on you. Is that a chicken leg? No, it's uh, where all the pigs went. <laughs> this is where we get the pigs, actually. Those are some messed up looking goats, says Quark. I love the fact that everything in this biome is just made of teeth. It's very weird. Four to six or three to six. I guess we'll have the chance of a blight. You know? Oh, the debuff the under key. the under the dog. Yeah, that is a chicken leg. Fodder, consumable by other plague eaters. What Invasive is species. So stress. From the we'll have him reduce his stress. We need to. I guess you should remove your blindness on this turn. You got nothing else to do. Light resist. Combo. Holster. Chop. Dispatched. Next. If we die, I'll be very sad. <laughs> Enemy ambush. Oh, we're uh, a mobile anyways, so that doesn't do anything. You know what would suck if you got shuffled then immobilized? <laughs> that would completely ruin you. Also, this is a Black Phillip. This is a huge Observe goat, a special carefully. elite named goat. You will Look at that! 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 Look at that. Look at that. With multiple actions, even. He was fighting every boss, I guess. Not really what I intended, but it's what is happening, I guess. It's Philip, ouch. Hopefully not. I would like to toss up a guard, though, because I don't know what he does. Hopefully the leper can just one-shot him. Didn't dodge, that's annoying. And he's dead. Corpulent enables a powerful skill. Champion enemy does a full heart of damage and explodes on death. Chance of dropping a bomb. Ah, oh, crap. Um, well, excellent work. We could use that since we're blinded. A lot of stress coming out. A 
but that's okay. Villa's Mortar. Crit, Blight, lots of stress. Hmm, unfortunate. Oh, we did get an extra turn with the Man at Arms, though. Why not? Hit me. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me, etc., etc. Now, I don't have anything that can remove Blight from the Occultist, but he's in the back. He should be fine back there. Hopefully. Exer, Exer don't know what that word means. Sorry. Low roll the damage on that one, and we're blinded. I don't know it, what's the what the deal is with the blinding, but we're not really getting the the triggers. A brilliant conclusion. The the resists, I should say. We we, we keep getting blinded. Three to six, four to six. I guess a higher chance of death's door. Can't heal yourself. You don't need to heal. This will reduce stress, though. Let's door resist. Nah, I think we should just go for the kill. We might need two turns. I think we should do it. I think we can. We've been we've been doing a, we've been doing a lot of these, but it's been working. To a corpulent, half-eaten mother. Now I do Time want him to move as quickly as possible. Of Resisted the blindness. Hate that. Sixty percent blight resist. Hate that. Well done. Oh, I love it. Mouthwatering aroma. So we did not resist on the leper. It's annoying. But, you know, it is it is what it is. So why don't we put up a defender? We gotta wait for him to, to have another turn next turn, unfortunately. We did get another action. Yeah, nom noms. Um... Stand fast. Retribution next turn. The enemy weakens and wanes. Combo or debuff or demon's pull. Vulnerability. Remove crit. You don't crit. Let's go combo. It's annoying. Who knows what lurks in the beyond. Well. Hopefully we can resist it next turn. Because <laughs> we need to. We need to resist it because he's so slow that these putrid meats go first before him. So you know what? What if we blind it? Oh, come on! Both of them? Master stroke. We're we're ble blighting this guy though, so that's working. Resisted the debuff. Oh, good. Didn't resist the debuff. Oh, good. Oh crap. The baby at the back. Well, I can't do it because I can't actually um, move with the leper. That's two seventy-five percent down the drain. That's a little bit of damage, but we healed it. I need I need someone to guard for the leper so that we can actually get the... Because uh... in theory, if I can just use Reflection... Oh, this doesn't show the upgraded version. If I can just use Reflection, we can buff our resist to 100% or 93, and then we won't have to eat, but we just keep being forced to eat because we keep failing the resists and that's annoying. So let's retribution. Activate some more posts. We did get a bonus action. 
heal you, because I need you to move. I need everyone to act, basically. You're still guarded. Bolster is stress, crush is damage. I can't believe that we failed the, the blindness twice as well. <sighs> I might have to kill the meat pile to stop us from being unable to act or just get lucky on the dice rolls on speed. Oh my god, that's gonna happen again, isn't it? At least this thing's half dead. Please resist. Hey, he resisted finally. Okay. I was beginning to get worried there for a minute. Haste and we missed, but we were blinded. What are you gonna do? Marks of the unprepared. This feels like a bolster. Compassion, quiet the howling mind. Sapid drippings. So at the front, I get it now. At the front, he does the maw of life. But we do need to make sure that we resist more. Let's buff our debuff resist. He gets two actions per turn, which is a little, uh, little annoying, but... This is a uh, good up... The occultist can't heal. Damn it. It's annoying. But he's almost dead. The enemy We're actually applying Blight on the off turns, too. Good, 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 good. Let's give you a heal. Only 31 HP on this guy. For the for the remainder of the battle, he is debuffed. Three damage, he'll be at 15. It's not enough for a heal. Let's, um... What is the leper gonna do? I don't know what the leper is gonna do. Let's defend... the leper. He's only burning for one now. Vulnerability hex demons pull abyssal artillery. We don't want to pull him to the front. We want to debuff him. And he resisted again, unfortunately. At least this, this really isn't doing that much damage, but it could kill if someone's on death's door. Now we're in range to heal, I think. Yes, we are. Spring snows must thaw, as it, as appropriate. My dude's on four HP. So we hit, that'll trigger death's door. Lots of misses on the curses, sad. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. We can almost certainly kill it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go, do a heal. It's a heal for five. <laughs> Look, if you're gonna have a bad heal, now's probably the opportunity, you know? Should you do? Five percent death store resist. If we attack, we guaranteed kill it. So let's kill it. Achievement unlocked. Hat trick. What did we get? Sixty-six percent bleed resist. Maybe we do want the trinket of giving us uh, heals. We got another pig, which we can't use. If target is blighted, more crit, gain on crit heal, gain on blight resist extra action. It's almost great. Oh no, it is, we got the poison ring too. We got res piercing, let's go. The bumper crop, more health, lower death's door resist. Excuse me? He just said yesterday he isn't gonna do that achievement. How the times change when you have a leper, apparently. All right, we gotta, we gotta do some things. Turns out you still need that. 
Just go in with the minimal DD resist. I mean, 50% bonus health is pretty good. And if we just keep constantly healing, you know, maybe we can keep everyone alive over the course of the fight. It is tempting. Take stress relief. Take. Lead. Take. Blight resist. Or blight curing. Jesus. Um... Minimum death store is 33%. Correct! For uh, for heroes, anyways. I've got a trinket, though, that buffs our death door to 90%, though. I kind of want to utilize it. Yeah, if you never go to death door, there's no problem with it. But I have to... I still have to pick one trinket to equip, but they're not good like any of them. Okay, you need Noxious. And we got another Noxious. Where the hell is it? Trinkets. There it is, kitchen knives. If target is blighted, more crit. Gain on crit a heal. And you have a chance of getting extra actions. So now you finally have blight piercing and it was very fast. Vulnerability, power. Demon's pull adds a negative token. Gain when moved by an enemy negative token. We're not going to be using demon's pull for negative tokens. We're going to be using the curses. I think. I might not want that trinket. I might want, like... I mean, we could get a lot of health. <laughs> we could get a lot of health with, with trinkets like this. Um, so you, you can only use one pig, by the way. We've learned this. So having two of these doesn't matter. I accidentally bought one thinking I could use a second pig, but we, you can't, so... We might as well dump one of the pigs. We have enough food here. Travel heal we don't need. We're never going to use this now. The stone mount. We're never going to use the bugle. There you go. Okay. We dumped some things. We have a little stress to worry about. I think we'll go to the creature den, though, just to get more... creature parts, I think. We could go to the hoarder. How much money do we have? A hundred? I'd still rather go to the uh, creature den, I think. Is your coat prepared for the upcoming obstruction? Can't you treat the pig as a meal? So the pig... You can only use the pig once at refuge. an inn but you can Bitter use food bones and in addition to the pig. I so I could use the stew. Remains. But I can't use two pigs, and I can't use the pig now. It's an in item. Sharpen your blades, that we may properly excise our portion. Well. Max affinity. Beautiful. 